What the Canadian dream means to us is that there are opportunities for everybody. Okay, so they can go in with the table, you stay here. They... You just work hard, keep trying and do your research and do your work, you will succeed. The opportunities are out there, you just have to fight for it. So I'll take you to the top of the stairs and I'll uh -huh. cue you. Getting the deal on the den will be a life changer for us. Okay, here we go, guys. Next, a husband and wife team hope their Brazilian snack translates well with the dragons. Hello, dragons. My name is Bruno Joaquin. This is my wife, Silvia Martinelli. We are from Maple Ridge, BC, and the name of our product is Otmo Brazilian Style Cheese Puffs. And mm. we are here to ask you for 65 thousand dollars in exchange for 20 percent of our business hi um, i'm sylvia we are um, we came to canada about 10 years ago but we only immigrated about five years ago we came to study english and we met at the english school Aww. we had a lot of challenges in the beginning to get jobs and go through all the paperwork and one of our biggest challenges was actually to keep up with the money. So we, at some point, we were living on $400 a month. And wow. that's for Vancouver area, it's uh, wow. very difficult. And we went through it all. And now we're proud to say that we're Canadian citizens. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Obrigado! Yeah, Obrigado. thank you, thank you, de nada. After we became Canadians, we missed a lot of stuff from our, our home country. And one of the biggest one, it was our favorite snack, which were the Brazilian cheese puffs. Mm -hmm. uh, we started making them for our friends and family, and they loved it. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, you should try this as a business. So we took all our savings, and we invested in the business to start out. Mm -hmm. um, okay. They are little buns made out of a root called manioc that is from our home country. Mm -hmm. It's like a big, big yam. They're gluten-free, nut-free, and sugar-free. Mm -hmm. They're also vegetarian. vegetarian. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, before, I have more things about the business, but I would like you to try first. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Lovely. A little warning, they're hot. They just came out of the oven. Ooh, Yum! Excellent. <laughs> and they're gum inside, crusty outside. So you nice have girl. three, and then Thank a you. Okay, yes. wonderful. Yes, girl. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sylvia and Bruno modified the traditional Brazilian recipe to attract the Canadian market. They included favorite flavors like jalapeno and tomato and basil. Those jalapeno were fantastic. So a little bit about the business. Uh, we uh, started through farmer's markets. So we're making them by hands, one by one. And uh, we started our production in mid-2013. Uh, uh, by 2014, we brought an equipment from Brazil to help us shape the buns and get them going because we're making thousands by hand, so it took several, several hours. Wow. Uh, by the end of 2014, we had sold uh, over 250,000 buns, only through farmer's markets, events, and little stores. 2014 to 2015, I had a car accident, and I, I was making all, all of it on my own. Mm -hmm. Bruno has a full-time job. So I had to take a little step back of the events that we were doing eight farmers market a week mm -hmm. and start focusing on the long-term sales, which were stores. So what were your revenues then? In 2015, it was around um, $86,000. Okay. And so far for 2016, we, our first quarter, we already doubled the sales from last year. Ooh. Mm. Okay. And we also got a vendor number with low loss, which is going to open doors for, for us for more stores. How much profit did you make? Uh, we actually just started breaking even. I really try not to eat bread, and this is the most delicious bread. Thank how, you. how bad are these for me? There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I it's love just cheese. There. I love flour. I know, I, love, I know, I know. You know, okay, we've done okay with that kind of stuff. Just tell me what's in this guy. Oh, yeah, the thing is that... There's no nutrition in there. There's no nutrition in beer. Hey. Uh, never mind. Yeah, that. That's <laughs> a very good combination. <laughs> oh, my God. Bread and cheese. Wow. Can we see your package? Let, yes. me, let me prove them. Sure, yeah, let me prove them wrong. Sure. <laughs> there's cheese, eggs, and milk in there. <laughs> so the nutrition... Yeah. Thank you. This is the flour. They're always made out of manure, so that's why we kept making. We didn't replace anything. Thank you. Why the name Otimo? Otimo means awesome in, in Portuguese. Portuguese. Awesome, okay. Otimo, <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh oh. What did you find? What happened? Expiry, Expiry date. date. How long is the shelf life? One uh, year. One year. Hmm. Yeah, well, 
My biggest concern is inventory control of He will eat them. Look, he's... Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not hard to eat. I can eat faster <laughs> than anybody. But the expiry date, again, staying consistent with my philosophy, I must go out, but I will be a supporter for you. And congratulations, though, really, you know, working hard. You came back from a car accident. You're citizens of Canada. That is the Canadian dream. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Great. So in my last business, uh, our biggest clients were all the biggest food companies. And one of the things that was becoming prevalent is everything in the frozen aisle is in decline because people are looking for fresh food or at least shopping in the fresh section. Is there a way you can produce this product where it's not frozen? Yes. yes. So actually, we're working on a dry blend where people can actually mix their own Mm -hmm. But first, we needed to create the market of what the buns were, right. so then now that we would have the demand for how to make it from scratch. So what are your roles in the company? Bruno, what do you do? And Sylvia, what do you do? Oh, you go ahead. She's I the... run the whole thing. Make, sell, clean, all of it. Okay. Bruno works full-time, and when he's not he working... elsewhere full-time. Yes, yes okay. I, I, have, I have a full-time job as a system engineer. Okay. And uh, when I'm not working there, I'm working for Sylvia. It's a wonderful it's story. It's a really nice story. You guys are awesome. I think the product is totally delicious. But I don't, I don't think I can help you get the distribution you're looking for. I think, uh, so I think I'm going to be out. It's something that we're still working on. We had to launch something. Uh, all of this is on our own. Like, I've done pretty much everything on my own. I work like however many hours I have to work. I just need the opportunity to have the right channel. Being to an go. entrepreneur is not easy, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's a tough road and it's a long road for yes. it has been for all of us. But my problem here is that it's off trend of what's happening in the food industry for two reasons. One, there's no real nutritional value here. And the other thing is that it's frozen. So I'm gonna have to be out. You know, I think it's a great appetizer. There's no question about it. It, it you know, like as an appetizer where in our restaurants. More dough to your menu. Yeah, it is. But it's it's not hard dough. It's easy dough. Um, <laughs> and it makes a lot of dough. Yes, yes. My makes dough can make you dough. Uh, I know. Yes, yes. <laughs> At this point, I think that you've got a good product. I think it's sellable. But I think you're just too early. And for that reason, I'm out. I love the story, but I don't love the business. I'm out. Oh, what a lovely couple. <sighs> Everybody can create that. It is delicious. It's just hard to sell bread in this market. It's just... Our road has never been easy. And you know what, like, we see as a one more step, one more step together.